If you're suffering from arthritis and are looking for alternatives to over-the-counter medicine, then this is the home remedy, is the natural supplements that you can do to help alleviate and improve your quality of life if you're having arthritis. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jason West and we're gonna talk about natural supplements for arthritis. And it's a very common misunderstood disease. We've talked a lot about it in other videos and why it's so important is because no one likes to live with pain. Me being one of them. I had the unfortunate or maybe fortunate experience to go through a kidney stone episode and oh my gosh, I was so happy to get some relief. I can understand why people don't want to be in pain, but some of the recommendations and suggestions that are really common are actually detrimental for your health. They cause more problems. And so let's talk about those just for a second. Okay, what arthritis is, to recap, is just an irritation or inflammation of the joint. It affects nearly everyone at some time in their life. There's over a hundred different kinds. And some of the most common ones are, you know, degenerative arthritis, psoriatic, rheumatoid arthritis, but let's talk about what you can do about it. So one of the most common recommendations are hot baths, hot baths with Epsom salt, which is essentially magnesium sulfate, heat from hot packs, ice packs, and over-the-counter medicines. Now I love the pumping effect that you can get from having a heat pack and then a cold pack and then a time period of nothing. It really helps to create that pumping mechanism into a sore area. Now some of the over-counter medicines can really be a problem and just because they're over the counter doesn't mean they're safe. Some over the counter medicines can increase bleeding in the stomach, the intestine and the brain, acetaminophen can be toxic to the liver and can reduce the effectiveness of other medications and supplements and anti-inflammatory foods and they can actually accidentally reduce a fever. Now wait a minute, fevers are good, right? Well, kind of and kind of not because your body needs to increase the temperature for an infection or cellular repair like a sprained ankle or arthritis. And so what happens is the body increases the temperature so that the construction crew can go in there, clean up the bad guys and put new tissue down. Now, especially in the case of a fever, a high fever can be really, really dangerous. A moderate fever actually is healing. And if you put anti-fever medicines into your body, it can actually give the infection a new lease on, on life. So fever is a good and a bad thing. Also Tylenol can increase allergies to asthma. Ibuprofen can cause rashes, dizziness, an upset stomach, itching, ringing in the ears, constipation and diarrhea. So here's some natural considerations for joint pain. Probably the most universal one is glucosamine because it's thought to protect cartilage from deterioration while making the joints move better. And chondroitin helps keep cartilage healthy it improves joint function and helps with pain and inflammation. I love SAMe because research shows that it's as effective as non steroidal anti-inflammatories or over-the-counter medicines. And the added benefit is that it helps with moods and liver detox. And liver detoxification is really important because almost all patients with chronic arthritis have a congested or swollen liver. And if you get rid of some of those liver toxins, your joint mobility and your ability to move and have the quality of your life that you like increases. Now, omega-3 fatty acids, experts say that fish oil, which contains omega-3s, can help treat rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, osteoarthritis, and other inflammatory conditions, but it's even more effective if you mix it with other types of oils like evening primrose oil, GLA, linoleic acid, and flaxseed oil. Now, digestive enzymes really help if you add those to the omega-3s. The proteolytic enzymes, they act like little Pac-Man, they cruise around the body, and they eat up inflammation. Now, if you take essential fatty acids and proteolytic enzymes, it doesn't happen very soon, it's not very quick, but over time, it can be equally as effective as aspirin, Tylenol, Aleve, naproxen, and MSM helps with the connective tissue. It helps to lubricate the fibrous and the cartilage tissue. And then my favorite vitamin, vitamin C, what it does is it donates electrons to the body. It helps very effectively for connective tissue problems. And then a couple herbs. My favorite herb is Lomatia dissectum. It's a wild crafted herb which grows over in the Sierra Madre Mountains. It's so helpful 
for chronic infection. It helps with warts. It helps with wound healing. It helps with asthma and it helps with arthritis. It's one of the most critical things that I think you can have in your natural medicine cabinet is Lomatia. Now, I don't care where you go or what you do to get healthy or have natural alternatives for arthritis. I personally like a company called Nature's NX. And here's kind of what I would recommend. You take a supplement called Joint Freedom. There's one called Joint Revive. There's Sammy. And the chosen one has some turmeric and some capsaicin in it. It's really effective for circulation. And then something called Livenu. And what that does is it just helps to clean out the liver. Now there's a whole bunch of, there's a realm of possibilities for natural arthritis medications and natural supplements and over the counter. And here's what I'd recommend. The more natural your supplements, the, the healthier that you are. You don't have to worry about a liver that's getting hard. You don't have to worry about kidneys that are starting to hard, harden. You don't have to worry about your stomach or bleeding problems or anything like that. And the foods associated with anti-inflammatory effects are watching out for wheat or avoiding gluten, avoiding dairy, sometimes eggs, sometimes nuts for certain people. And if you give your body a break for those, you can really help arthritis. And the last one, the secret weapon that I just recently discovered, and I'm, I'm kind of sheepish that it took me this long, is some intermittent fasting. Now, I've seen this do miracles for joint problems, so hear me out on this. There's something that occurs when you just take water over extended time period, and it's called autophagy. And it's usually about this two or three day mark. What happens is your body will start using up the weak cells, the weak mitochondria, inflammation, infection. I've just seen wonderful outcomes with this. And here's what you do. It's a water only fast. You put a little bit of salt into water. You drink as much water as possible. This is going to sound a little bit overwhelming to some, but if you'll do consistent fasting, whether it's intermittent, whether it's a two day, whether it's a three day, it can be five or eight or even 10 days. And that sounds crazy to some, but it's amazing what it does for the inflammation that's in your body. There's some really neat books about intermittent fasting, a wonderful book uh, called The Obesity Code for people that are struggling with metabolism. Because if you're carrying around a little bit too much weight, what happened is that has a tendency to compress the joints, it reduces their mobility, it decreases your quality of life, and intermittent fasting is one of the secrets that I've seen for arthritis. It's literally jaw-dropping amazing. This is Dr. Jason West giving you some ideas of what you can do at home and what supplements that you can do for arthritis. We'll see you on the next video.